Reform a big priority for San Diego city leaders as well. So council members are discussing a new measure on the November ballot here. It would create an independent commission on police practices. And News 8's Netta Ranpour has that part of our coverage. Good morning to you, Netta. Good morning. Yeah, in city council meeting today, which is actually just now starting, they will be talking about that independent commission to review police practices, police involved shootings, police involved fatalities as well. And this is something city council president Georgette Gomez does support. In fact, we had a chance to speak with her through FaceTime just about 30 minutes ago from the city chambers. And here's why she says this is important to see on the November ballot. So there's a lot of criticism and valid criticism that uh, we, we don't have checks and balances with PD. It, it is to uh, be seen as abusive of their power. So today, San Diego City Council slated to vote in about an hour or so is when they're expected to take on this initiative. They'll hear from public comment. And then this is an initiative that would create that independent commission on police practices. So this proposed commission would review all deaths stemming from interactions with San Diego police, as well as any police shootings. Investigations into these matters would be conducted whether or not a complaint has been made. And commission staff or the contractors operating independently of the police department would be the ones to conduct these investigations. So as you heard from Gomez, she does support this. She says they've been working on this for about a year and a half now, so she's glad to see it go before city council today. She says this is key to building trust in police, especially as she hears from community members who express fear of officers. If people are saying, if there's a PD driving behind me, instead of feeling comfortable, they start feeling, um, they, they start fearing. Um, and, and that's not a good thing because then we have an issue. PD is not supposed to create that. They're supposed to be peace officers. Keeping the peace. So again, city council meeting just now starting and they do have a couple other agenda items to get to first before they take on this uh, agenda item of the police practices. And they're going to hear from the public. It's a Zoom meeting. People can call in, write in as well. And then later on this afternoon is when they expect to take on that vote. But they'll also need to vote on this again in July before it can go ahead and go on that November ballot.